My name is Billy Heaney. I'm a zoologist, filmmaker, keen paddleboarder, and all round water baby. This is unbelievable. 2020, it's been a little bit of a roller coaster, hasn't it? But despite all the ups and downs, the sudden drops, the loop the loops, and our fair share, of dodgy haircuts. We have still achieved a great deal here at Gloucestershire Wildlife Trust and we have plenty to celebrate and feel proud of. So grab yourself a cuppa, cut yourself a slice of cake and let's get ready to look back at some of our highlights. Oh, proper stuff. We're joining zoologist and filmmaker Billy Heaney who's on a mission to get a glimpse into their hidden lives. So the moment of truth, let's see what I've managed to capture over the last four weeks. Pine martins are mustelids and are part of the weasel family, which also includes otters and badgers. The adults are about the size of a cat with a long bushy tail and are typically nocturnal. That is amazing. And here you can see how the kits are already starting to climb, albeit a tad on the clumsy side at times. That was just absolutely phenomenal and it's just so wonderful to know that these beautiful animals are back where they belong. I mean, I'm absolutely chuffed to bits and I was not expecting to see half of that. And the team at Gloucestershire Wildlife Trust will continue to monitor the progress of all of the pine martins here. And if the adults and the kits are both thriving in this forest, well then that just confirms that the hard work may be starting to pay off and that pine martins really might have a chance of recovery in the southwest. Rot Nest is home to eight to 12,000 of these curious little quackers. Now, like most macropods, they feed on a variety of different grasses and leaves. And uh, here on the island, their only natural predator is snakes. Hence why they're really, really curious. Through the first lockdown, I spent most of my time exploring this patch of Gloucestershire woodland, setting up camera traps to peek into the lives of my local wildlife. During lockdown, my camera traps and my newly adopted badger family provided me with an escape and a window into a new hidden world. They live in social groups known as a clan, which are typically made up of four to eight individuals. Now, as lockdown eased and daily life began to return to normal, you might have thought that my newfound obsession with mustelids would have calmed down a little bit, but um, yeah, it didn't. So we've got the Johnston Strait just right below us now. Prime habitat for a whole host of marine wildlife and eagles and ravens. Prime orca territory. So fingers crossed at some point we'll catch up with them. Look at that. People can't immerse themselves in a TV set, but what they can do is put on a virtual reality headset and they can look around in this whole environment around their head and just witness what actually goes on. And I think in order to engage people, something like that is such a good tool to put into schools, to care homes and stuff like that is to get people excited and it's to get them to get off their sofa and go witness these great wildlife spectacles for themselves. These guys are mega herbivores and they don't stop eating and they can actually eat over 150 kilos of vegetation every day. That's like two of me. So with a wingspan of 1.8 meters and a body length of around a meter, the gannet is Europe's largest seabird. Now Scotland is home to 60% of the European gannet population and each year between February and October about 150,000 birds come here to Bass Rock to breed, making it the largest northern gannet colony in the world. Now when they're travelling out at sea, gannets will fly close to the waves gliding above the water but when they're hunting they'll fly up high, begin circling and then they'll perform nature's greatest high dive, plummeting into the water reaching speeds of 60 miles an hour. How awesome is that? Now when they're around 20 years old, female green turtles will start returning to the same beaches that they were born on to lay their own eggs. Now reproductive females will return to those beaches every two to three years and in one season they will have three clutches, each contain around 100 eggs. And now thanks to 26 years of some fantastic conservation work from the Marine Turtle Conservation Project, the number of green turtles in northern Cyprus is on the rise. It's absolutely balmy. The more you sing, the more they come in. Particular favourite of the Oh, the dusky dolphin is Africa by Toto. They love a good melody. I've got my life jacket on, the sun is shining, so fingers crossed the whales make an appearance. Everywhere you look in this little thicket, it's just kangaroo ears popping up everywhere. So I've just been watching this group of elephants behind us and they've got two really ridiculously tiny calves. So 
If I'm honest, I really wasn't expecting to see a cassowary, let alone was I expecting to see one that close.